everybody. In this video, we're going to start to see torque in action and hopefully figure out how we can calculate how much torque we need for particular circumstances. This metal bar is attached at a hinge on this corner. If we hold it like this and let go, what will happen? Well, it's just going to fall like that. But why? The reason is that gravity is pulling down on this metal bar. And because of that, it's providing a torque which is causing it to rotate around the hinge. On this end of the bar, we have two holes. If we place the hook of this spring scale through that hole, we can measure how much force we need in order to hold the bar up against gravity. We can then measure how large the bar is and the distance between the hinge and this hole. And that will allow us to determine how much torque we have to provide to the bar in order to keep it upright. So let's do that. Let's measure the force we have to provide at this point in order to counteract the torque due to gravity. I measure this force to be about 30 newtons. But now let's try this second hole. Notice that it's farther away from the hinge. So what does that imply about the force? Well, we know that the torque due to gravity on this object isn't changing. And therefore, the torque that we have to provide in order to counteract the gravity isn't changing either. But if the force from the spring scale is now acting at a further distance, that force doesn't have to be as strong in order to provide the same torque. Let's try it out and see if we're right. Now the force that we're providing is only 13 newtons. By measuring this bar, its size, its weight, and the distances between the hinge and these holes, we can calculate how much force we should have to apply in order to counteract the torque of gravity. So let's do that. All right, here are the measurements. The bar is 30.2 centimeters long and 6.3 centimeters tall. The distance from the hinge to the middle hole is 2.5 centimeters, and the distance from the hinge to the far hole is 5 centimeters. Lastly, the weight of the bar is one half of a kilogram. Using these numbers, you should be able to predict how strong a force acting at each of these points would have to be in order to counteract the torque due to gravity. You might have to be a little clever. One of the things you're going to have to think about is where the gravitational force is acting. When we think about torque, torque is always related to the strength of the force and its distance away from the center of rotation. Well, the center of rotation is here, but where is the gravitational force acting? Well, the best option is to just say that the gravitational force is acting at the center of this bar. Even though the mass of the bar is spread out, we can pretend that the torque of gravity is acting all right here, and we'll get the right answer. 